welcome to our Saturday Seminar. As we can't all meet like we usually do, we are bringing science to you at home. Science is in the world around us in everything we do, so we feel that we should be able to bring it to your home. Exactly. So, what do we normally start off with? This week, what we're going to do is see if we can stack these cups blindfolded. <laughs> and <laughs> to make it harder, it's going to be a race. Okay. So I'll go first okay. and then you can go. Okay. But these are just any ordinary cups, any cups that you have at home. Once you have a scarf or a head scarf, you can use that as a blindfold. Okay? Right, let me go with you first. Yep. <clears throat> One, go. Mm -hmm. This is really test your agility. Okay. is that they are very colourful. Extremely. So this week we're going to be doing and learning um, about light and colour. So we're going to try and do a series of experiments that focuses on this. Exactly. Light even travels through waves, okay? And each colour has its own wavelength. So red, for example, has the longest wavelength, whereas violet has the shortest wavelength. So with light, when we see white light, it has all the colours in the rainbow and when all the colours of the rainbow come together and are reflected, this is when we see white. When all the colours of the rainbow come together and are absorbed, this is when we see black. That is why on a hot day they tell you do not wear black because you absorb all of the colours. So today we're going to do a series of science experiments that are just looking at colour. Um, this is a topic that we really love and yeah. think is so fun. We think it's just amazing that we're able to see in different colours and see things that are different colours. But this is all based on the fact that different colours absorb and reflect different wavelengths. So that is how we're able to see the beautiful colours in the rainbow. So yeah, we're going to start off with... For this first experiment, all you need is water and Skittles, taste of the rainbow. Okay, so like true scientists, we're going to do an experiment, mm -hmm. but we're going to have two different experiment conditions. So I am going to lay the Skittles around the outside of my plate, okay. and then I'm going to pour hot water on it, Okay. and I want you to do all the Skittles around the plate, but do cold water. Okay. okay. So with the hot water, just get an adult to assist. So adults, you should just assist with the hot water, and it could be warm, it shouldn't be at boiling temperature. It could just be at the temperature that your warm tap comes out at. So. So just line the skittles around your plate, so to make a circle. <laughs> that is another. You can make a pattern. Yeah. So remember, I am going to pour warm water on it. Jessica is going to pour cold water on it. Okay. So go. Pour it in the middle. In the middle. And then you will start to. See. Wow, well, no, nothing. Slowly, maybe someone's gonna stop. Why is my not going? Why tell me why not? It's because we're using warm water, so okay. the warm water enables the skittles to dissolve a bit more quickly. But it will still happen here, but just at a slower rate. Really, very this experiment. Okay. But you can see mine is nearly dry. That is so pretty. So pretty, isn't it? Oh my gosh. And because it's only water and skittles, you can eat it. Yeah, it's not wasted skittles. No. You can then decide to vary the temperature of the water to, to see which one gives you the quickest outcome. <laughs> Maybe with this one we can leave it to the side. Uno, dos. 
Okay, so for this experiment, all you need is um, some clear glasses or you can use plastic cups. Um, it's just better if it's clear because you'll be able to see the experiment a bit better. Exactly. We also need some baking soda, vinegar, and then some food colouring. Hopefully from the weeks before, mm -hmm. there's still some food colouring left. So we're going to use red, blue, green. We have yellow. What we do first is put some bicarbonate into each of our containers. Okay, now food colouring. Um, again, if you have a pipette, you can use a pipette, but you can also just use a spoon to drop it in. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. And just put a few drops of this food colouring onto. Who knows all the colours in the rainbow? What did you use to use to remember it? And was it Richard of York? Yeah. Gave battle in vain. Yeah, mm -hmm. so red, orange, yellow, mm -hmm. green, blue, indigo, indigo violet. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Let us know what you guys use to remember it. If we need to update our little anagram. Because <laughs> this is what we used to say back when we were in school. Which is how many years ago now? We've done that, put that to the side, and then with your vinegar you to pour it into the different containers and then you can see what happens next okay we do okay what's a color <laughs> glass cups or plastic cups um, but you need seven of them and you need tissue paper or kitchen you need to roll up cylinders um, so you can just literally all you will need is one sheet to be able to roll the cylinder so you only need about seven or eight sheets sheets not rolls So then once you've rolled it up, you put it in one cup to the other cup, so you're making connection bridges. Imagine you're making a bridge from one cup to the other cup. Because we're going to show the movement of water with colours. And this is what happens in plants and how they're able to transport water through their stem to other parts of the plant. So this experiment looks at water and we're using colour to be able to visualise the movement of water. But again, just individual. So then you should have this design. So each cup is connected to the other cup. Easier, you may want to label your cups. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In all your cups, what you're going to have to add, you're going to have to add some Okay, so I'll put some here. So just start with my colours are red, green, and is it green? No. My colours are red, blue, and yellow. Okay, so in the first cup, so just your you you number your cups. So we're going to number it and our number one is going to be here. So in our first cup and in our seventh cup, we're going to have red. Okay. And to you, what colours, if I add red and blue together, what colours would I get? What would my secondary colours be? So if you add red and blue, your secondary colour is going to be purple. Mm -hmm. What about if I added blue and yellow? If you add blue and yellow, the secondary colour is going to be a green. Yep, and what if I added yellow and red? And if you add yellow and red, the secondary colour is going to be orange. Yes. Okay. So a few drops of red into cup one. One. A few drops? Yep. Enough. About four to five drops. Four to five drops. And in beaker or cup seven. Yeah. 
So the two should be next to each other. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. And again, you can use a pipette or a spoon to do this. In your third part, so if this is one, two, three, remember we recommend that you label it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so add four to five drops of yellow. Is it yellow? I think it's yellow. Okay. Yes, I've done that. Okay, and then in our fifth cup, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, in our fifth cup, we'll be adding four to five drops of blue. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I think we don't. Okay. So now what should happen or what we're going to see is that the water or the food colouring is going to be absorbed by the tissue and that's going to cause it to rise, rise, rise and it will slowly transfer into the neighbouring beaker. Because you should see on every even cup that there's no colours in the cup currently. So in cups two, four and six, we didn't add any colour. So what we're going to do is put this to the side. So you'd have to put it to the side. Five hours later. Okay, experiment number four. All right, so this one, um, we're going to, again, it's with water, mm -hmm. but we're going to try and make water heavy. Okay. And by doing this, we'll be able to create a rainbow in our cups. So what we have to do to make the water heavier is to be able to dissolve something into it. Okay. So into your cups, you may want to label it, but we're going to have, so if you have three cups, for this experiment, you need water, warm water, so ask an adult to fill the kettle. It doesn't have to be boiling. And then you need sugar or salt, anything that is able to dissolve in water to make it heavier. Okay, so into the cups, you want to put an equal amount of warm. The warm water will help the salt or the sugar dissolve. Yeah. We're okay. using food coloring, I'm saying food coloring. Red and then I want to put yellow. Okay. So for the colour that I want at the bottom, we need to make the bottom one the most heaviest so it sinks to the bottom. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is put the most amount of sugar into my heaviest cup, which is blue. So I'm going to put four spoons of sugar into blue. Again, we're going to add a few drops of blue to this. Here's a pipette. Thank you. Again, if you don't need a pipette, you could always use a spoon, like we're using here. Um, create like a wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, so in this one, I'm only going to put two small spoons. This is our blue sugar. Um, let's put our red. Okay, I'm gonna mix it, mix it, mix it. It's a bit red. Okay. Mix it, mix it, mix it. So this one has the most. So we put four to five in this one, and we put two in this one. Okay. okay. And we use warm water so it dissolves quickly. Looks like a whirlwind. And our light is. We just want half a teaspoon into this one. So make sure when we're doing experiments, we try to do them as fair as possible. Um, so the only thing we're changing from cup to cup, apart from the colour, is the sugar. So your last one should have the least amount of sugar. So I only put half a teaspoon of sugar. And then if we could just add some yellow to the Okay. So now you have three colours. That's it. That's it. Yeah? Right, so once you have your three cups, your blue is the heaviest, then it goes your mm -hmm. red, and then it goes your yellow. So yeah. what we need you to do, if you have a cylinder or anything that's quite small and yeah. slender, it makes it easier. So you may have one of these yeah. at home, okay. or, um, measuring cylinders. So first of all, put the heaviest one at the bottom, mm -hmm. which is blue. You could pour this one in more quickly because it's the heaviest, so it will stay at the bottom. With the other colours, you have to do it drop by drop. So with red, 
putting it in drop by drop. And what you'll see is that because the red is lighter, it will sit on top of your blue. If you're not seeing the colours sit on top of each other, yeah. what you have to do is add more sugar or salt, whichever okay. one you use, to the different colours. So you have to make this one really heavy. Okay. Then you'll put a bit in this one and then hardly any in this one. So if you're not seeing it sit on top of each other, you need to add more salt or sugar. You need to make the water heavier. Okay. But you should see them if you um, did what we did. And then you can see that there's blue at the bottom, Ooh. red in the middle, and yellow at the top. That's so cool. Yeah. You can really sure see. You can the really see colors. Different colors. Yeah. And that is because we made blue, and then red, and then. Yeah. And then last but not least, our lightest color because why we put less sugar in there. So it's the light is at the bottom, the heaviest of red. Thank you for watching the video and we hope you enjoyed all the colourful experiments. Remember to tune in next week for more science experiments. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the pictures you sent in last week when we were doing salt science. We love to see it. So remember to send us anything that you do this week.